the Honorable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Uh, I'd like to uh, continue with the, uh, the note my colleague has sounded of hearkening back to the throne speech. The throne speech spoke about uh, how we are at, the words used were, a, a pivotal moment calling for progressive government policy. And certainly this is true. But I must say that in this session to this point, what we've seen from the government is more in the category of bureaucratic busy work and housekeeping, less pivotal and progressive, more piddling and puny. So it's a pivotal, pivotal moment and is calling for progressive policy. And I want to ask the Premier, uh, when is he going to bring forward his progressive plan to deal with the fact that we've got 20% of our hospital space taken up by people who are there because they're just waiting for long-term care? The Honourable Premier. Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the Honourable Member for his question. I, first of all, disagree, and, and I, I think he owes all the great hard-working public servants an apology, Mr. Speaker, for suggesting they're just uh, stirring around. <laughs> I would, also, I would also suggest to you, Mr. Speaker, I wish the Honourable Member had stood with us when we introduced 50 more long-term care beds in Curry Breton. Instead, all he did was complain, Mr. Speaker. The fact of the matter is, we'll continue to roll out uh, uh, investments in health care from one end of this province to the other to ensure that the appropriate health care services are being provided in the appropriate communities at the appropriate time. The Honourable Leader of the old New Democratic Party. Uh, the, the Premier disagrees with me, but I agree with him in the one thing. I agree that that throne speech is right, that this is a pivotal moment. It's a pivotal moment in which uh, we in Nova Scotia are today 17 days away from again having the lowest minimum wage in the entire country, as Alberta and BC and Ontario have continued on the path towards $15. So it's a pivotal moment calling for progressive policy. And I want to ask the Premier, will he tell us when he's going to table a progressive policy to get Nova Scotia's minimum wage out of the Canadian basement? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank the Honourable Member for the question. I noted he voted against the basic personal exemption increase that impacted the lowest income people in our province, Mr. Speaker. And I want to tell, you, I want to tell the Honourable Member what's progressive is actually running a government that can operate in the balance so that we're not borrowing on our credit card to pay for operations on a daily basis. That government buries excessive generations, Mr. Speaker, leaving them with a debt. We had to deal with issues that were left behind by a party that does, simply doesn't understand what it means to govern, doesn't understand what it means to be balanced, and doesn't understand what it means to be fair, Mr. Speaker, and kind to all Nova Scotians. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Progressive policy in a pivotal moment consists of a great deal more than the capacity to raise one's voice, Mr. Speaker. Uh, it is right. It is a pivotal moment calling for progressive policy. Now, we in the NDP, uh, we, we have every day bring forward matters of progressive policy on climate change, on mental health, on children's rights, but we are facing a government that is set on jellyfish mode, formless, blobbish, and drifting. It's a pivotal moment. Uh, I want to know, where is the, the Premier's progressive policy for dealing with the fact that we've got, speaking on the subject of young people, the fastest rising tuition in the country, while in New Brunswick, it's free if you're under 60,000. The Honourable Premier. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank the Honourable Member for the question. I want to tell him about progressive policy, Mr. Offering free primary to every four-year-old in this province, which is government part of the government. I want to tell him, Mr. Speaker, what's progressive policy. He's providing services in schools to ensure that we identify mental health issues at early onset so we can deal with them early on. That's progressive policy, Mr. Speaker. Progressive policy is, Mr. Speaker, when you make investments around ensuring that when you have the ability to make changes to the tax system, you impact those who need your support the most. When we change the basic personal exemption, Mr. Speaker, he voted against it, Mr. Speaker. We continually deprive when we want to modernize the health care system. He continues to complain about it, Mr. Speaker. The fact of the matter is, Nova Scotians are with us, they're ready to work with us, and we're prepared to work with them. 